This morning, with many restaurants closed or seeing a decrease in business, the demand for fresh produce has gone down. For Kells Irish Pub, this means finding another place to send their fresh produce to. Cor Harlan joining us live to tell us where the produce goes when the restaurants just can't use it now. Cor? Right. Well, Ken and Jenny, you may not know this when you're down there at Kells having a beer and some food there, but they grow a lot of the ingredients that go into their menu items on a uh, restaurant owned farm near Wilsonville. Well, when Kells closed, it found itself with a lot of that farm fresh produce and eggs on its hands and nowhere to go. Well, now all of that food is going to an area food bank. The world may have stopped working in many respects, but the chickens on this Wilsonville farm have not. This is a 50 acre farm owned by the same man who founded, owns, and operates Kells Irish Pub in downtown Portland. The farm supplies much of the produce used in Kells food. Now that the bounty of the farm, though, is not going to the restaurant, caretaker Ben Tucker has a rather unique dilemma. When the restaurants were forced to close down, the, the chickens out here on the farm, they didn't take a break. Uh, so we produce about 300 eggs a week and I just kind of looked for the most responsible way to uh, get rid of the eggs and uh, donating them to the food bank was one of the things that came to mind. The Wilsonville Community Food Sharing Bank is getting the eggs now and is just a couple of miles away from the farm. The virus and the resulting shutdown of Kells could not have come at a worse time. Owner Jared McLeese had spent upfront money to accommodate Irish musicians who had come here to help celebrate St. Patrick's Day at the Irish Festival. The tent used to shelter the crowds was halfway in the ground when everything suddenly was ground to a halt. On the farm, winter cabbage and leeks are upon us now. They also grow hops that go into fall and winter ales later this year. Herbs that add flavor to Kell's menu are also grown here. The bad news, there's no restaurant to use any of that produce in. The good news for local food banks is they'll now be getting access to the same organic quality ingredients that have helped keep Kells on the map all these years. We're in the, for the long term, we've been in Portland for 30 years. If you want to be another 30 years here, please God. So you got to do the right things for the, the economy and for the people around you, you know. So they're all family to us. 65 employees are part of that Kells family. The fact that they are shut down for the time being, though, has not stopped their willingness to give when the need is greatest. All right, you heard Jared there saying, please, God, we hope to be in business another 30 years. Uh, all of that uh, uh, produce, the bounty from the farm that they have there, Jenny and Ken, will continue to go to the uh, food banks in Wilsonville and perhaps as they have more produce to other food banks in the area for as long uh, as this shutdown persists. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that's great that even though they're struggling, they're trying to help, uh, you know, at least do that while they can. Right, right. Well, it's, it's helped, and it comes at a time with unprecedented demand for food banks, too. So this comes for them at just the right time. Right. Yeah, well, uh, Kells yeah. will be one of those businesses that uh, will come back. They're very much part of this community. Thanks you a lot. You and I will make sure to that. Yeah, right? yeah we sure will. <laughs> right. No doubt. Thanks, Thanks Corey. All right. Well, it turns out that self-isolation.